Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, good. How are you doing? Sultan Khan. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing right. great. Thanks for asking. Uh, hey, my pleasure to ask you. Uh, so where, where, are, where are you from? I'm from the U.S. U.S. Okay, great. Uh, my yeah, name we're... is Sultan and I'm from Pakistan. All right. All right. You're, you're, you're one of a few people that I've spoken to from, from that country. Right on. So um, I've never been there, but I would love to maybe someday check it out. So Sultan from Pakistan, where now? Why are you on Cambly? Uh, just to practice my English. Well, you, you speak English better than I do. What's going uh, on? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're here just to practice your English. Do you yes. use? Okay, what is your what is your native tongue? In Pakistan, what's your native tongue? Uh, it's Urdu. Huh? Urdu, 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 Urdu. All right. Yeah. Is that is that a, a form of Arabic, or am I just totally off base? I don't know what it. What is what is Urdu? Um, Urdu is actually a combination of different languages like Arabic uh -huh. and Persian and some other. And uh, we have the same alphabets like Ara Arabic. All right. Yeah. So we have the same. Okay, cool. All right. Um, and you tell me, can you can you say hello in Urdu for me? Hello. Okay. So hello is actually when we meet someone, so we say hello. But uh, since we are Muslim, so we instead of saying hello or uh, anything else we pay salam like assalamu salam. alaikum uh, okay okay all right cool all right so you are here to practice your english now so do you use english in your day-to-day -day life there in pakistan um actually i'm not in pakistan now ah. mm -hmm. uh now i am in saudi arabia uh i'm a teacher here mm -hmm. so i teach english Really? I think like I told you. All right. So I, I, I made a little joke earlier that you speak English better than I do. So now mm -hmm. I learned that you are a teacher of English. Yes, so that's right. um, how long have you been teaching English? Uh, it has been almost eight years. Right. All right. And uh -huh. what how did you how did you start down that that path of teaching? Right. How did you get into it? Uh, it was not a conscious decision, but mm -hmm. I just started. I didn't have anything to do. So I started teaching English. And since then, I have been a teacher. All right. I can't. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. Yeah. OK, mm -hmm. so I've spoken to a good number of um, Saudi Arabian people who tell me that the the educational system there, they, they'll teach you grammar, right? And they'll teach you some structure, but they don't they don't put a lot of practice into speaking. Do you try and get your students to speak English? What I have experienced uh, mm -hmm. is students here in Saudi Arabia, they speak good English. Um, mm -hmm. As far as the spoken English is concerned, they are good at it. Mm -hmm. However, some grammar, grammar aspects are not that good, mm -hmm. but they're spoken as very well. All right, so their spoken English is very good, or they speak English very well. All right, cool. And what what you know? So what type of students are you teaching? What age group? And is private or public? Yeah, it's a private school, and I teach mm -hmm. fourth grade students. Uh, yeah. They they are like almost eight to ten years old. Mm -hmm. So beginners intermediate or what what is that yes beginners or like right. primary primary students and so how do you engage with them how you know so what 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 aspects of english are you teaching them um actually we have to follow the curriculum the syllabus which mm -hmm. we get we just always try to cover that syllabus mm -hmm. and and does that syllabus contain Okay, so you said they are no. Okay, at fourth grade, are they already speaking 
decent English or no? Yes, that's right. Really? Where are they learning to speak English from? I think they speak English at home. Okay, I think they speak English at home. Very cool. And uh, man, I like that. All right, enough, enough, enough of the, the, the teaching stuff. So how often do you use Cambly? Uh, like I have a subscription, yearly subscription, but mm -hmm. I don't take classes so often. Why um, not? What's going on? Sometimes I'm busy. Sometimes I don't feel like taking classes. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I skip classes. Right, life. Life happens, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes I'm busy, blah, right. blah, blah, right? Um, you Okay, so are you teaching English five days a week? Yes, that's right. How many mm -hmm. minutes roughly in that 45-minute time frame is for oral? What right. do you mean by oral? Commun just, I mean, you're speaking English. You're using English and you're talking. You know, there's, there's a, you, you could... You can go over the grammar and teach new subjects, but how much time is spent in group activities or whatever to, to, to use their English? I think throughout the lesson, throughout the class, we speak mm -hmm. English, we communicate in English because uh -huh. uh, they do not understand my language. I cannot understand theirs because they are Arabic speaking students and I uh -huh. speak a um, totally different language yes so it's oh, so our it's our compulsion to communicate in english only yeah yeah okay there you are it's almost it's 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 it's, an, it's necessary right yeah. so i mean from the time that class starts mm -hmm. is, it, is it all english there is no because you don't speak arabic they don't speak urdu so it's mm -hmm. all english yes all right it so you, like you, you have the opportunity to speak english every single day yeah, but I feel that I need to speak English at home as well, because in order to construct natural sentences, yes. uh, I should and I need to do it at home. OK, all right. Yeah. So you say, OK, when when can you find like it's like saying, OK, when can I find the time to do it at home when I met, you know, if I'm not tired if I'm not feeling lazy or mm -hmm. whatever, right? right. Do you, maybe maybe you, rec you know, hey, when you get home, mm -hmm. when you get home, are you stressed out? Are you are you? It depends on the day, right? Yes, mostly I am stressed. I'm exhausted because of the lessons, the classes I take each uh -huh. day, because uh -huh. it's it's very tiring. Yeah, sometimes. mentally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure yeah. I can imagine. Um, so, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. you can try to find some way to express all, you know, you know, say how you feel to, and, and, and talk to yourself, record yourself, do it all in English, right? Do yeah. I plan these, like all these activities, but I never execute them. <laughs> uh, my bad. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, very, yeah, I, I totally understand. Cause I said, I mean, I, Besides, but you know, in addition to Cambly, I do private lessons, and I it, it can be yeah. mentally exhausting. Mentally yeah, sorry exhausting. for the interruption, but uh, only to practice English. I also teach on a different platform uh -huh. uh, other than Cambly. Uh -huh. uh, I did apply on Cambly, but my application is still under process. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. They, they they didn't give so. I have a friend. She her 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 main language is Spanish, and I said, "Hey, you you can try on Cambly," but they never replied back to her. N you know, it's just pending. Yeah, but I know a person, a tutor from my own country, Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. he still lives in Pakistan, and he is teaching like good on Cambly. Yeah, on Cambly. All right. So yeah, okay, they approved him. So. <laughs> Yeah, what's Maybe. taking so long? 